Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am so late, but I know I had a lot of you guys who were curious about my thoughts on this palette. So in today's video, I am going to be playing with the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. Now at this point in the game, there are a billion and one other reviews that really go into the details and nitty gritty of this palette. So I figured I'm not gonna waste your time on that. I'm really just going to show you the looks I create, share my experiences with you as I am applying them, and then at the end of the video, I'll collect my final thoughts with you. So that's the format of this video. So if you are interested in seeing my thoughts on this palette, then just keep watching. Just for a super quick intro to get quick details out of the way in case you've been living under a rock, it's fine, I understand. Sometimes I really feel that way too. But this is the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. It is $39, you can pick it up at Morphe. In it, you are getting 35 shades. As you can see, we have sunrise colors here. When I look at this, this is a sunrise palette really great matte shimmer ratio and I do have the volume 1 palette I'm gonna be honest I don't really use it that much but I think it is really pretty it's not that it's not a good palette it's just that you guys know I spend a lot of money on luxury makeup so I feel like I got to get my money's worth out of those but no $39 for 35 shades is really good I enjoy the first palette like I said so I'm curious to see what I think of the formulation of this palette I really like big palettes from morphe too so I really wanted to pick this up so I don't want to talk too much in this video until the very end so I'm just gonna get straight into the tutorials and me experiencing this palette for the first time I have this neutral smoky glam look right here that's the second look and then the first look is this beautiful sunrise look and we're gonna start off with that one so let's get into it so the first look that we are going to be doing is going to be majority of the matte shadows because that is really where the secrets lie in the formula we're gonna start off with certified by the way my lids are primed with Max Painterly Paint Pot. I'm so happy she put a bone shade in this palette because this was definitely the shade that was missing in her previous palette. And we're going to start off into this kind of sunset gradient. So we're going to start off with No Joke right here. And I'm just going to pat this all in that inner corner. This yellow is a decent yellow. It's bright enough to where it makes a statement, but it's also not super chalky and is easy to work with. So you're not going to get full, full pigmentation because if there was, it would probably be quite chalky and blend away anyways. So this is the perfect in-between just so that you can get that color to show. And it's applied pretty effortlessly. Feeling myself is going to be the next shade we pop into. Some of these shades are more powdery than others. This shade is not too too powdery and as you can see it's laying down super well not gonna lie i was really intimidated by this shade but we're taking live in my best and this is one of those super kickbacky kind of shades with a lot of fallout so make sure you tap off your brush first and this shade swatched freaking incredible it scared me because it was just too powerful you know <laughs> and we're gonna lightly tap that on my eyelid like so and then i'm gonna kind of rub my hand to clean that brush off which there's probably better routes to go than using your hand i'm gonna take that red and kind of use it to blend everything out next shade we're going into is oh hello this shade is like magenta it's the perfect in-between shade for red and purple so that's why we're using that here and leave just the tiniest little bit of space wiping that brush off and using magenta to kind of create a transition up here keep everything really smooth next we're going into not my journey so i'm doing a relatively complex look with a lot of shades that can have some problems and i haven't had any problems with these colors like as you can see they're blending seamlessly and it's so impressive that the price of this is able to do this it makes me mad because i do like the regular morphe formula I mean, it is kind of hit or miss, but it's it's not that great of a formula for the price It's fine, but for this price this palette is so good Make sure you're constantly going back to fix this blend right here as needed now We're going back into that original orange shade we used which was feeling myself and make sure you go pretty low with this shade because I want this shade to be the background. Now I'm taking a tipsy girl right here. This palette is bright, but it looked like straight up 
neon online and I'm not saying that there aren't like more neon shades in here but it's not quite as intimidating in person so in case you were wary of that like it's a bright palette but it's not horrible and then I'm going back into not my journey which is that dark purple and I'm gonna Push that pretty close to my lash line and then blend. This refer number three brush is incredible for this technique. Next, I'm taking Tempress. This is a really nice black and I'm just gonna use it to kind of deepen up this area and then bring it just a little bit onto the outer part of the lash line. So that's really just gonna help with false lashes and kind of blend that into the look. So even if it looks a little bit messy, don't worry about it too much because I'm mainly doing this for the sake of the lashes. And then the final touch for this look, we're gonna take some of Talia right here. I've gotta say, like I thought the shimmers were gonna be super impressive to me, but just from swatching, I'm really more so impressed with the mattes. And I'm not saying that the shimmers aren't pretty because they are, but I really find the mattes to stand out. Like they just work. So I am going to finish the rest of my face, put on some lashes, and I will be back to show you the final look. Alright, so with lashes and everything, here's what the final look looks like. If you're curious about anything else that I'm wearing on my face, feel free to check the description box. Of course, every single color here I used, I had no issues with. The look is super blended. It was super easy to get it blended, and I am very impressed with how these shades worked. It can be difficult sometimes to get shades to work so smoothly, especially since I added so many different shades and they're all mattes and they're not neutral tones so very impressed with the formula of this thus far i'm trying to think what i want to do for my next look i definitely need to play with some of the shimmers so i guess we can go a little bit more neutral but anyways here's the final look i just wanted to show you i really love it definitely out of my comfort zone so let's tone it down a bit so i know everybody's also done like some neutral smoky eye with the colors already but i couldn't help myself since i just did a look playing with all of the colorful shades i really wanted to play with the glitter shades and also the more neutral shades and even then the neutral shades in here lean extremely warm so just be mindful of that because i'm really not a huge warm eyeshadow fan but what you're gonna do about it. We're gonna start off with love handles and love handles definitely I feel like was much more warm than it looked but hello it is a really pretty like transition shade and everybody's gonna get a lot of use out of this shade. And then to start building some depth we're going in with homebody. I wish there was a little bit more neutral toned neutrals in this palette because all of the neutrals here I feel like really warm up the look and I don't really care for that. And then I'm taking some of G Money. I took that in the hopes to cool down this look a little bit. This has like an undertone of mustard to it so it still is kind of warm but it doesn't make it look quite as red based anymore. Then we're gonna blend that out. I'm also going to run love handles down here because as you can see I did want it a touch smoky and a little bit of G money also down here and then I did a cut crease I don't necessarily think a cut crease is necessary but I did a cut crease look yesterday and I loved it so I'm gonna do it again this is a refer 21 brush by the way one of my current favorites to cut the crease with so the first shade I'm gonna take is get ready with me this is the more bronzy glitter shade and i really wasn't sure what to expect from these glitter shades at first because i knew on camera it really wasn't going to translate to how they look in person and they definitely have the most effect on the eyes i feel like they look pretty in the pan in person they look even prettier on the eye and these do get a bit crumbly if you use a brush to apply them but they still build pretty well with a brush you're going to get the most clean application if you use your finger or put some glitter glue underneath but they work very well dry on a brush but they aren't super creamy like I was expecting them to feel they like I said they're more crumbly but they're still stunning now I'm gonna take Ryder Diamonds and honestly these look prettier on the eyes than they even swatch which is rare because Ryder Diamonds did not impress me by swatching but look how pretty that is isn't that stunning I love these glitter shadows. They have like very small silver flecks running all throughout the shade. And I think it's just 
so pretty. This is definitely like a new formula to Morphe. And I have to be extremely careful because Temptress, the black, is so freaking pigmented. So I'm just going to take like a dot as light as possible. And I just want to very lightly add a little bit of smokiness to the outer corner. Just like that. And then the secret to getting such a smoky lower lash line is you're going to start off with a black eyeliner. This is the ColourPop black eyeliner. So put that in the waterline. And you see the difference between smoking it out and not smoking it out? This really closes my eyes. So I'm going to take a very small pencil brush, dip it in the black, and I'm going to work on smoking and smudging it out. So don't be afraid to get the brush in your waterline. So I did have just a little bit of fallout, especially from those glitter shades, but nothing crazy. I'm going to go off camera, finish the rest of the makeup, and you'll see the final look in its full beauty. All right, so here is look number two. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so glam. I love this look. I'm very surprised that I got a look like this from this palette because when I look at it, I just think of all the colorful looks I can do and all of the neutral looks that I've seen everybody else do. They look just really warm to me or just not that pretty, honestly, but I love this like smoky look wow anyways i don't want this to be like a super reviewy style video just because there are so many reviews out there at this point i'm sure you guys want to vomit seeing another review i really wanted to make it more so about the tutorials me playing but i know you guys are curious about my genuine thoughts about this palette and i gotta be honest it's a very good palette i had zero problems with any of the shadows that i used today of course i didn't use every single color in the palette but i used quite a bit and i was impressed with each and every one. I love the ratio of mattes to shimmers. I mean, the mattes themselves are the standout in this palette to me, and I really like that she has so many mattes in this palette. As far as the shimmers go, particularly these glitters, they are stunning. Oh my goodness. If you love a glittery eyelid, you are going to absolutely love those shades. When I was swatching them, I wasn't too sure about them. They felt kind of dry and crumbly to me, but but now seeing them on the eyes, it really does look magical. Where I don't like this palette is, I'm going to be honest, I don't really care for the color story that she went with. I love the matrix layout here that we have. I love where the colors are placed. It makes sense. It makes it easy to create a look. You can just look in a corner of the palette to whatever color story you're looking for. So I like that these aren't sporadically placed colors. They're kind of done within their own families. And this is like a pure sunset palette. However, I just think generally speaking it is an extremely warm palette with a few random cool colors thrown in there but for the most part every look you're gonna get basically unless you specifically go in with the cool colors it pulls very warm which is very Jaclyn that is her style and I feel like you're not getting as many colors as you think because I feel like a lot of the colors are just too close to each other like these two are super close to each other you don't need all of these oranges all of these shades even though they're a little bit different on the eye. I feel like when you have the opportunity for 35 shades, you could really create a range in colors. When here, I just feel like you have purple, red, burgundy, yellow, and a transition shade. Like, you really don't have that many colors. There's not enough different tones in this palette but also that is kind of just a more personal preference for my part if you are into these types of colors you're going to love this palette of course it is not for the faint of heart if you don't like colorful palettes and you don't use colorful eyeshadows and you don't care to support Jaclyn I would pass on this definitely make sure you check out her first one that one is very good as well just being realistic like yes I got this really pretty neutral look but there's just so much more love to give in this palette Palette. And if you can't do that and you don't want to spend your money, you don't need this palette. Volume 1, I think, is really good. This one is just not that wearable. But no, like, I can't lie. It's a really good palette. It's a really good formula. This formula is, in fact, better than their other formula that they use in their original palettes. The Jaclyn formula is in here. It's a good formula. This is a good palette such a good value for all of these shades if you plan on using them. It's a good affordable way to have these types of colors in this palette. 
if it were up to me and let's say I had a collaboration with Morphe and I had this palette laid out in front of me, I would have added a few more color families, a few more of that beautiful diamond glitter formula in different shades. But I know she want, doesn't really like blues and greens, but I feel like she's missing those cool tones in here. And not necessarily blues and greens, but like mauves and grays and just cooler colors. You know, you have 35 shades. I think a volume three cool tone palette would be really neat from her. Anyways, so those cute curious. Yeah, it's a good palette. I really like it and I really enjoy the looks that I created with it. So that's all I have for today's video. Let me know down below what your favorite look I created was. Was it the colorful look or was it this smoky neutral look? If you are subscribed to my channel, I hope you take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.